have a question. No, I'm not a scientist. No, I'm a geologist. Or another type of specialist in the field. Yeah, it's an ordinary individual. And just like any other ordinary individual, cast into this multiplicitous reality, just trying to ascertain and understand it. Now, this question in particular of what would happen if two like-minded, level-headed individuals came together and delved deep into a discussion, what would happen? Now, here to, here to help me answer this question is my good friend over here, Mr. Scotty is what we know him by. You know what I'm saying? Met him over at the eye on campus. You out. Great guy. He's about to graduate. Who knows where he'll go? So hey, for the purposes of discussion, let's just jump right into it. Man, what you say, Scotty? Not too much. I just feel like I should first introduce myself. Uh, I just gonna start it off by saying this: that I'm a I'm a black man with standards. I'm not taking no for an answer, and I will hold success for ransom. Man, hold success for ransom. How many of y'all know that gonna hold a successful ransom and put the Cheetos down? Who knows? But uh, it's it's like the the first thing that comes to my mind is we as black men, mm -hmm. us as a society as a whole, where are we headed? Where are we going? We're not the largest minority anymore. We're not. No. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, Espanol is everywhere. Not talking down on any race, but I'm just saying, I want to empower our race. That's what it's all about, man. At what point do you start depending on other people to come and give you a hand, when at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's all on you if you make a stand? It's like, it's like, it's, it, us as black people have put this mentality in, that is me and myself. And in that process, we're pushing down and shoving down the, the next generations of powerful black leaders. So as a whole, we're leaving ourselves behind. So I, all right, I want to ask you this before we even get any deeper. What's the purpose of this video? What's the purpose? What's the message you're trying to get out? This is how I said, man, and the purpose of this video is a real simple video. I mean, it's a real simple purpose behind it. Basically, it's to further the discussion. This video is for people who are not too satisfied, who are not comfortable with the cookie-cutter explanations that are given to us by our politicians, you know, by the authorities, figures. We're not, we're not, this is for those people who are not, it just don't sit right with them. You know what I'm saying? There's something inside of them saying that there's more to life. Right? You know what I'm saying? And, and who am I to stand by and let life pass by when I can be doing something to improve it, move it forward? And not only my life, but the lives of other people. You know what I'm saying? Other people that's not only my same reflection or my same you, but the world, people in general. And that's why I have this, this picture of you, this image, this map rather. It shows you everything, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, we're all one. And I'm and, and to get in there, uh, I feel like we don't question enough. If you look at the education system, whereas you're not rewarded for asking a question because you seem dumb to your peers. Teacher is so busy, underpaid, and just a job. Whereas they're not giving you the attention that you need. Now, Billy, who's raising his hand to get the answers right, he's get a sticker. But you, for asking the many questions you can to try to understand and wrap your head around the situation, no one understands that. You look down on it. You're an outcast. You need to be in a special class. Why is that? I'm not sure, but it may have something to, to do with when you were younger. You know what I'm saying? You were small. 
Every child I feel comes out real inquisitive. This is a brand new place, a brand new space. They used to, you know what I'm saying, at the womb, the belly, that's familiar. But now they have all these different things going on around them. And so they start to ask questions. And what's the first response a parent does when they don't know the answer? Shut up. Don't act. Why is you asking all them questions? I don't want to hear it. Be quiet, be quiet. Oh, it just may say, it just is. Or just because I said so. You know what I'm saying? So that right in itself, it discourages people from asking questions. Because who knows what answer you'll get. You know what I'm saying? But on the flip side, if you take that and look at it the other way, who knows what answer you'll get, so why not ask? You know what I'm saying? It just may be something that'll spark something in your mind that'll send you off in a whole another direction. You know what I'm saying? Something that'll uplift you, and from you being uplifted, you're able to uplift everybody around you. You know what I'm saying? So why not ask is the question. And this is why these videos are being made. Let's ask questions. Let's get into this discussion. Let's open up the debate. There's a lot going on around us. You know what I'm saying? So are we to just take the, the answers and the understandings of those who are, so say, connected to that event or, or what have you? Or they are authority figures? Or are we to delve deeper into it and figure out what it is? I feel that in today's world, everyone looking for a handout. Everyone looking for this piece of information to be given to them. And as we all experience, if I tell you a story and you tell this person a story, by the time it comes back to me, the story is completely changed. So why do we feel that it's so reliable to take these hand down information? Why, why is we satisfied with that? Because what are we doing? Where are our time going? Xbox, technology, all these things are just to keep your mind idle. All these social media things, that's just keeping your mind active. But is it really active? You're not thinking of, how can I be different? How can I make an impact in my society? All you're thinking is, your mind is being occupied. You're just doing what exactly what everybody else is doing. You're just a mold, like you said, in this cookie cutter society. But I'm tired of that. I'm tired of just being, oh, uh, 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 just fitting in with the crowd or just average. I have more desires than that. And so I feel that this, in this society, if you question too much, like Dr. Martin Luther King, like Malcolm X, but instead of being, instead of living in fear, I'd rather die in honor. This, 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 that's an interesting point you just brought up there as far as about those individuals, those, those monuments, you know what I'm saying? Those great figures that were old enough and courageous enough to step out there with that uncomfortable with what was going on around them, that they dared to step out and make a stand and say something and question. And it all boils down, I guess, to that, that whole element. How comfortable do you perceive yourself? And how comfortable do you really want to be? If you're comfortable with being told that the sky is gray when the sky is actually blue, then you're forever living that trap if you're comfortable with it. But if you are willing to stand up, make stand up and stand out, make a stand, and question that the sky is actually blue, then there's a whole nother life out there for you. You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to die for what you believe in? Because think about it. What type of life are you actually living? Are you actually living? If you can't express yourself the way you want to express yourself, or uh, if you can't have access to the same things that Joe over there have access to. You know what I'm saying? Am I supposed to be comfortable with some holy tennis shoes? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only thing that I could afford. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, should I step out and make a and make a way for myself to where I can afford some shoes without holes in them? You know what I'm saying? And who is to stop me from doing that? What laws are on the books to say that you can't express yourself the way you want to express yourself? And see, it's like nowadays I see I see the term MOB money over 
bitches and money over everything. But why is money over everything? Because it's told that it's money over everything? Because money is power? Is it really power? Because it has no control over your happiness. They have a million dollars. They have millionaires who are committing suicide. They have millionaires who are getting divorced every couple of months. But that is still money over everything. I, I feel like people' ideas about the world is so construed that to put all of your focus on money, which money don't even buy happiness. It can buy you clothes and it can buy you cars, but at the end of the day, these are worldly things. They can rust and they can be stolen, they can be broken into a wreck, just like any other thing. So why are you focusing on things and material things? Because at the end of the day, just like this lamp, just like this vacuum cleaner, just like this building, they all perish. So why are you focusing on something that you have loosely books, book sacks full of paper? I said, money is just a resource. You know what I'm saying? And if you have a whole lot of money, but you can't use that resource, then what is it up for? You know what I'm saying? So money is just a resource, just like water is a resource. You need water. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have water, you're going to perish. And the fact that I relate water to money, I mean money to water in this instance, is the fact that we live in a capitalistic society and which if you don't have money, you're perish. It's just like a thirst for water. You're perish. You know what I'm saying? But that still doesn't that still doesn't justify the fact that that's your only that's your only your only chase is money. Because if you're doing what you love to do, money gonna follow. Especially in this type of society. And if you're doing what you like to do, going back to the teachers and everything like that, that if you're doing what you like to do, then you'll really be educated. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be about just these people coming to this class, you supervising them for a period, and now it's, it's, it's time to go two weeks later or the end of the month, really, you're collecting the check. Summer, summer come, three months, you're going on vacation. You don't really go. You don't care. I'm gonna have to take a break right here, right quick, right now. Hopefully, y'all got to stay tuned.